It's Monday. Last week I have finished this large oil painting for clients in Schiedam, a lovely town not far from The Hague where my studio is. And uh, this week will be a week of uh, preparing new commissioned work. And, and the funny thing is that uh, I want to put a weekly video on my YouTube channel. Um, and I know that a video about preparing work uh, should not be that interesting for a viewer. It's only about sketching, making photographs, discussions with clients about the work. Well, that could be quite interesting, but not everyone wants to be on my video, and I can imagine that. So, um, the video m must be uh, a video about an artist making art, uh, telling about his thoughts, questions, answers, um, but not about preparing a work, not not the, the, the whole video. So putting a weekly video on, on, on my channel keeps me working every week on a new work. Actually the, the watercolor I made in the previous video, the, the watercolor from the square with the long blue shadows. Um, was made with this same thought that the video uh, could not be interesting without making a new work. Uh, and I'm, I'm lucky with this uh, watercolor. The classic way to, to, to put light in a watercolor is to um, let the paper show the bright white color. That's the brightest color on, in the watercolor. Um, but I use some gouache, uh, thick gouache paint in this watercolor as well to give it some shiny details. And there are people sometimes complaining about that. Uh, well, you know, you are a watercolor painting, but you don't use watercolor everywhere in, in, in your work. And for me, that's not an issue. It's about the result and um, working with the bright white of the paper everywhere is, is, it's only a method. And when the method is uh, sometimes not that practical, I think you should find another method to reach the result that the work or the subject is asking from you. And then a thick gouache or even acrylic paint somewhere really uh, does its work. Um, I noticed that always when I'm painting uh, bicycles, bicycles are really hard to paint and they're always shiny and bright. And when you want to make all those reflections with the white of the paper, uh, you can do it, but it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of work. And then in the result you will see a fast, um, a fast, some kind of flow everywhere in the, in the handwriting of the painter. And there where the bicycles are, there it goes slower and, and um, there's another energy in, 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 in the whole work. And I don't like that. So I think then you really should take another paint to put the bicycles over the last layer of the, of the watercolor. In video number two, I was in Bloemendaal for a house portrait. Today, I start working on the watercolor for this villa. The vegetation around the house is striking. Important is to paint it in the winter scene. The summer would make disappear the house with all the leaves. Well, 
eyes is always got me in yellow or gold or blue on my clothes or skin. Never amber or black, but the most poisoned, strong colors. I really don't know where I got it. The best way to get it, oh, it's on my other finger too. The best way to clean it is with lin oil, linseed oil. This is not going to be a watercolor of a house with trees. It's going to be a watercolor of trees with a house. I'm making the plan. First, the cold blue purple gray of the sky. The warm orange and yellow for the bricks. I keep the whites open in the building. Then the warm colors in the tree trunks. Some details will be done before I put the shadow wash over it. Then they are covered by a transparent layer which will make the details look softer and natural.
It's funny. Um, today we arrive at the moment where I would like to put some gouache over the upper layer uh, of watercolor. Uh, as you can see, we got plenty of twigs, branches in this garden. Of course, I could um, save them, you know, I could keep all those small twigs open. But what do you get? You will get a slowly painted, correctly watercolor. Um, you lose the speed that you have in the beginning of the work. And for me, uh, speed in a work is one of the most important elements to put life in a watercolor. Uh, the hand must follow the eye and in this view you will see that the eye is scanning uh, all the life in this garden with this uh, strong straight building in behind all those branches and uh, twigs. Um, even the contrast between wet transparent washes and thicker gouache paint can be interesting. I think it will put some depth in this subject as well. So I really don't mind to use another paint in this work. I, I'm sure it, it, it needs uh, this technique as well because I only painted the background in this layer. It really needs a drawing a fast drawing of all those branches. Painting the branches over the watercolor brings depth in the work, but the branches must show depth between themselves too. I reach this by using wet and dry paint. Normally the wet paint is brighter, but using gouache it's the opposite. The wet paint shows more of the dark background because of its transparency.